In this video tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to use the shift rotation scheduling method within Sub It Up. Shift rotation scheduling is where if you have certain uh, certain positions that where your staff work certain shifts all the time, but they have a certain amount of days on and then days off. Uh, that you're going to be allowed to, to set the schedule. So this is mostly, uh, we see this a lot being used in public safety departments or uh, police departments where they work a certain beat and they have, uh, let's say, four days on and three days off, five days on, two days off, whatever it may be. In order to get to this page, you'll go to the left-hand side and you'll need to go down over to the advanced configuration section. And then the second one down says shift rotation. Now, before you can use this, it's going to be very important that you create the shift templates that are needed to populate and use for your rotation scheduling. So the shifts that people will be being scheduled on, you'll need to do that before you use this. So uh, you'll need to go over to the configure templates tab and over to shift templates and create those. And there'll be a video there that will help you walk through uh, what to do and how to create a shift template. And you can also go to our support site, support.subitup.com, and there'll be some more uh, information there on how to uh, make your shift templates. Once you have those made, you're coming back here to the shift rotation page, and we're going to create a new rotation. So you're going to go to the top right corner. It's going to say add new rotation. First thing you'll have to do is put in a template name. So this is my front desk position. So I'm going to say front desk supervisor rotation. If you want to create a note about this rotation, something that will jog your memory of what exactly it is. If you have a lot of them, you can do that as well. And then if you want this to be active or not, and remember that only active templates and only active rotations can be scheduled. So I am going to make this active. I'm going to select save rotation. What's going to happen here is it's going to pull up all your staff members in this specific position that you are in. Uh, so right now I'm on the, in my front desk supervisor position. That's the position that, that will uh, show up here uh, on the left-hand side, all of my staff that are within this position. So for this rotation, I'm going to choose my first person. So my first one that I'm going to set the rotation for, I'm going to go ahead and choose myself here. I'm going to click the edit button, which is on the pencil in the far right corner. And I'm going to make sure I want to choose a shift template. Um, so right now I only have one active. It's going to go to whatever is active at the time. Um, I'll go ahead and show you on the shift template page what that looks like. So I have a bunch of shift templates here, but only one is active. But if I go ahead and reactivate these, once I go back to my shift template for rotations, you will see that more have now popped up. So I'm gonna schedule this for my afternoon uh, shift template, the 12 to five sh uh, shift. And it's gonna ask you what day of the week you wanna start the rotation on. Now, a lot of rotation um, uh, schedulers like to stagger this, right? So they start the first one on a Monday and the next one on Tuesday and so on and so on. So I'm gonna start this on a Monday and choose a start date. I'm gonna start it for the 18th. And do you have any notes about this rotation? So anything else that you want them to know and these notes will appear as shift notes uh, on uh, when you generate a schedule. The next part is uh, probably the most important part here, which is their amount of days on versus day off. So let's say week one, they work five days on and then two days off. And then you can add a week. And let's say the next week they are four days on and three days off. And the next week they are uh, three days on four days off. And then this is super important at the top here, it says active. Uh, you need to select this as active if you want to actually generate the schedule. If it's not active, it won't be generated. So I'll go ahead and select active and then hit save. You'll see now that the information here is populated um, for, for Zach. And then let's uh, go to the next person. So then you can go and you can fill in another person here. I want this one to be active as well. And let's say I, this one is our my morning shift. And this one's going to start on a Tuesday. And it's going to start on the 19th and then they're going to be four days on three days off at a week, five days on two days off. Okay. So as you can see here, it's listed all the information. It's going to say what their days on off are for weeks one, two, three, uh, as well as what their, um, what the shift template is that they are going to be working and their start date. So if you wanted to, uh, to schedule this rotation right here for these specific individuals, there's a tab here that says generate. You can go right to the generate tab and click on the pencil button here. And it's going to only generate for this specific employee. So if I want to uh, start on a, on Monday the 19th as I had it set up, or Monday the 18th, excuse me, and it's gonna be for three weeks, so I'll do it for the sixth. And then you gotta choose if you wanna generate the schedule as published or if you want it to be unpublished. 
so that people can uh, remember if it's unpublished, only managers can see it. If it's published, all the staff can see it. So I'm going to say I'm going to do this for unpublished for now, and I'm going to generate the schedule. Okay. So after the shifts have been created, you'll need to go to the calendar and choose your uh, choose your view that you want to see the shifts in. And then we'll go ahead and choose the first day of this scheduling template. And you'll see here that I was put on for five days on in a row. And then if I go to next week, it was four on and then three off. And then the following week is three on and four off. So whatever you put into that template is what it's going to create here. Back to the rotation page. Now let's say I created a bunch of these rotations. I have one for all my staff members and I want to uh, generate them all at once. I don't want to do it individually employee by employee. You can go over to the generate schedules page and choose your position, which is the one that we've started on as well as the schedule type, you're gonna to change to rotation. So regular is just gonna fill in the information you have in the shift template. It's important to change this to rotation because then it will, it will reference the rotation templates as well. Then you're gonna select which rotation template you want to use. So I'm gonna use my front desk supervisor rotation. Uh, start of the week, whatever week you wanna start on, and then uh, I wanna start on the 18th. Schedule through the six, so I'm gonna do three weeks, which is what the farthest in, in the future that I have. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and add this position and then continue and auto-generate. Once this is done generating, we will take us right back to the calendar. And from here, once I load up my first start date, you'll see both Tim and Zach have their specific rotations that I had put in for them in the shift rotation template. That is how to use the shift rotation feature. As always, if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team. Support at subitup.com is the email address, and our phone number is 617-401-8733. Our office hours are Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.